Hi, welcome back. Welcome for the first time. I'm Lorenzo and today I'm going to pick out a starter wardrobe from Everlane. Now a starter wardrobe to me is essentially if you were to start over, start from scratch, what pieces would you buy first? I consider these to be kind of core utilitarian pieces that you're going to get the most wear out of and are really multi-purpose and high quality. I decided to look at Everlane for the starter wardrobe because they tend to have a lot of basics that in my opinion are usually high quality for a decent price. So to get started, I'm on Everlane's website. I already have an idea of what I'd be getting for this. I'm going to start with black pants because I feel like that is such a versatile basic and especially anyone who works in person, anywhere, kind of needs black pants, either in an office, in service industry. They kind of just work for any kind of job. So I think they're a great place to start. Okay, so there's a couple of different styles. I like the straight leg style. It's pretty casual though, and I think I'm looking for something that's more of a trouser. Ooh, I'm liking the look of these tapered pants. They have them in black which is pretty awesome. Ah, they look really short. Like I'm kind of concerned they're too short, but they're also in a shape that I think is flattering to a lot of people. So I'm gonna put this in the cart for now. What does the beige look like? I don't know that I love the beige color. Okay, so let's see if there's any other options. Ooh, linen way high drape pant. Normally, I wouldn't choose linen as my material for like my one pair of pants. <laughs> but I do like the shape of these. I think I would just stick with the canvas color. I think that's a great basic. Ooh, okay, the way high drape pant. That's what I was looking for. This one I have a pair of trousers in. They don't have the color that I have, but I really like this pant. I think it's a really great shape. It looks really flattering on a lot of people. Um, let's see the colors that they have. They have the sandstone, ash brown. This color is really pretty, especially if you're warm toned. And then this um, uh, clown pant. I know they're just checked, but something about this pattern is very clown energy. Okay, but I think because this is like a basic starter wardrobe, I'm gonna go with the black pair in this and we're gonna, I guess go with regular 30 inseam. Okay, so I do like the drapey pant better than the tensel, but so let's delete that one. Great, so we have our black pants. Um, I do like a white pant or just like a beige pant. So I'm wondering if this straight leg pant is gonna do that. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else. Wide leg dream pant? No, don't want to wear sweatpants, sorry. Ooh, okay. So they have this wide leg pant and I think that's very versatile. I like the wide leg. I like that it's in white. You can do a lot. You can wear it to work. You can wear it casually. So I think that's going to be my white pant. I'm going to take off the linen just because it's very summer. And this wide leg pant is cotton, which just makes it a little more versatile for other seasons. Okay, so we have our pants. I want to get one pair of jeans. Okay, so they have a bunch of different styles. A new carpenter jean, interesting. A painter jean? Okay, a gardener jean. Okay, they have a lot more styles than I remember them having. Personally, I'm just looking for a straight leg. I also get their curvy jeans, so I want to limit my look. I want to limit my search to just the curvy pants. Curvy 90s, let's go. Um, so if you're going to have only one pair of jeans, I guess I would probably just go with like a mid wash like this one. 
Let's see if this one's any better. That one's nice too. I do have the light wash, which I do enjoy, but I think if I only have one pair of jeans, I'm gonna go with a darker one. So that, and I definitely don't want it to be cropped. Cool, so now we have our pants and jeans. The thing with Everlane is they don't really have much in the way of like skirts and dresses or kind of more feminine clothes, which is fine because I think they really focus on kind of gender neutral, like more gender neutral. I personally would have dresses and skirts in my starter wardrobe, so I am gonna try to pick one of these. They have a black skirt and a brown skirt. Don't really like those. They have a stripe, interesting. They have some shorts, which I'm just not gonna include because this is a starter wardrobe and I just don't think shorts are versatile enough to be in a starter wardrobe. Let's take a look at the striped skirt. Okay, it's just a basic midi skirt, cool. Let's take a look in black. I mean, it's fine. I guess I'll, I mean, they don't have any sizes, so. Um, I guess I'll add it in white. Let's see how that goes. I don't love the skirt, but it can maybe just represent get a skirt. Okay, next I want to look at the dresses. Yeah, I don't love the dress options. They're very shapeless. Normally, I would suggest getting something like a slip dress or just another kind of dress that is really versatile. Something that you can wear to a wedding, but you can also style for the office. And then also just hang out with your friends. So I'm asking a lot from this dress. This one's really cute. I'm into this look. I like the black and I like the beige one. So I think I'm actually gonna do this dress as like my long sleeve casual dress. And then I think I'll do that slip dress as kind of like my everything else dress. And I'm gonna do it in black because I don't want the white, I don't want this cream because you can't wear it to a wedding. And I just don't wear this cocoa brown color. So I'm limited to black. I think black is just a good basic too. You can always add different accessories that are more in your color season to make the outfit a little better for your skin tone if that's what you're looking for. Okay, so we have our bottoms, we have our dresses. Let's go to shirts. Okay, we got some linen shirts. I'm gonna stay away from linen right now just because it's very summery. I think everyone should have one nice silk shirt. I think it's really versatile. It's very luxurious feeling. It just kind of levels up any outfit that you have. Now in terms of color, I think your silk shirt can be kind of any color. They have a they have quite a few options on the site, but they are all neutrals, which is good for a starter wardrobe, but I'm not like my particular favorite. I don't like, you know, I think I might just go with the white. Make that easy. You can dress it up and down. And then I do want one other shirt. That's just a cotton shirt. Oversized cotton, no. Um, relax cotton. Do you have a stripe? That might be good. Okay, let's try this Oxford shirt. Looks very basic. Looks like it has a decent shape. I like how stiff it is. Um, so since we did white for our silk shirt, I think I'm gonna do either a blue or a stripe. I don't love these stripes. They're so skinny. I prefer medium stripes. So I think we're gonna do blue. Let's just do a nice blue cotton shirt. I love cotton shirts like this because they can just double for a plethora of things like swimsuit cover up. Um, you can wear it as a jacket in the summer. There's just a lot of options. Okay. Another thing I saw in here that I wanted to get in. Oh, here we go. A silk camisole. Doesn't have to be silk, but I do think kind of a drapey camisole is really important for a starter wardrobe because you can wear it under blazers for work. 
can wear it on its own for like more dressier occasions. It just looks sleek and timeless. Now colors up to you. I don't love the gray white, so I think I'm gonna go with the black. And I'm gonna say we're done with shirts. Let's look for some t-shirts. Okay, just a basic organic crew neck t-shirt. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so they have a oat, a gray, and a white. I'm just gonna go white. And I also like to get a black t-shirt too, but I might instead get a long sleeve. I want something with a deep neckline, like a scoop or a v-neck. Looks like there's one scoop, but it's short. Here we go, there's a bodysuit. Okay, bodysuit's gonna be the only thing that's close to what I'm looking for. When it's something like a deep scoop neck or a boat neck or a deep v-neck, and I think this is gonna be the closest to what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one. Reason I want a black shirt with a kind of bolder, deeper neckline is because it's a lot easier to dress up. Like I can pair that with the slacks and have that be a going out outfit, but it can also work for your job. So it's one of those items that I think are extremely versatile and it's really just because of the dark color and the neckline. Okay, and then I think a lot of people would say that a tank top is kind of necessary, especially like a white tank top, but I don't love these tank tops. I think they're a hard shape for a lot of people to pull off, like these super high necklines. I just don't love, so I'm just not going to include a tank top. We already have the silk camisole, so I think that can kind of work for the things that we want it to work for. Okay, next sweaters. I live in a colder environment, so I <laughs> would definitely have more than two sweaters, but for this, I am going to pick a cardigan and just a regular pullover sweater, because I think those are the two basic sweaters that I think everyone should have. So let's take a look. The alpaca crew, that one's nice. Okay, here we have a beautiful textured cardigan. I think that's great and I like the color. So let's go ahead and get that one. And we just need a pullover and I do want the pullover to be cashmere because yeah, it can be expensive, but it really lasts so long. I have so many vintage cashmere sweaters because they just last forever <laughs> if they're nice quality. And I personally like a kind of turtleneck or mock neck if I'm going to be wearing a sweater, I want to be completely covered. So this light camel is a really nice color. This navy is a nice color. Pink, not my favorite. So I think I'm actually going to go with the camel. I think it'll go really nice with black and other neutral colors, like the blue color I was also picking out. It's a little less severe than like a full black sweater too. So I think that's going to be my best bet here. Okay, so moving on from sweaters. Let's take a look at a blazer. I do think everyone should have at least one blazer. And because I have black pants, I think I'm just gonna go with this black blazer so that I have a suit look if I want it or I can style them as separates. Great, now I think we should get at least some outerwear. I think a trench is pretty versatile and works for almost every season but I know it's not everyone's style. I personally am liking the way a MAC coat version of a trench looks better than this gathered trench. It just looks a little bit more modern and a little less fussy. In terms of the color, I love the stone. Ooh, okay, yeah. Stone color for sure, at least for me. That's gonna go in the bag. So we have the trench coat, we have a blazer. I want something that's maybe casual and maybe more warmth, but I'd also settle for something like a denim jacket. Okay, we have these parkas, which isn't exactly what I'm looking for. How about this jean jacket? What do we got going? These pictures are very difficult <laughs> to see what the jacket is. Okay. These have weird buttons and they also don't have any larger sizes. So let's say no to that. 
<sighs> okay, I'm not loving the options here. I think we might just find a short liner jacket with a denim shirt. Let's see if they have any sizes. Okay, so this is gonna represent a denim jacket for me. It's a little longer and a kind of more unique style than I would probably get for a starter wardrobe, but if this is kind of your style, cool. Um, but this is just gonna represent a denim jacket because they just like didn't have much. <laughs> I think it's important to have a more casual option for outerwear because a lot of these items are kind of business casual leaning. Um, they're all basics, so you can wear them anyway, but it's kind of hard to dress down an outfit if all you have for your coats are like a trench coat and a blazer and you're wanting to have it be really relaxed. I, I don't know. I just think having more outerwear for those kinds of options is important for a starter wardrobe. Okay, I think that's pretty much all the clothes I would put in. Um, I'm gonna see if they have any shoes just to represent some basic shoes that I would recommend for a starter wardrobe. Let's go all shoes and see what they have. I've had a couple shoes from Everlane and I think they're nice quality. I just think they're horribly uncomfortable. So, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, a pair of boots I think is pretty universally needed for a starter wardrobe. These coming in black and having be a short, like kind of Chelsea boot, I think is really versatile. They don't have a size. <laughs> I wouldn't get them in white and I wouldn't get them in brown. Okay, let's see if they have any other boots. Ooh, here we go, a loafer? Okay, how about the city boot? Mm -hmm. Does it have any sizes? No, okay, cool. I kind of like the white and they have the size. Okay, we're gonna go white boot, we're gonna be crazy. I think a light boot is really underrated for like wardrobe basics. I think, especially if you're someone who wears lighter color neutrals, I think getting a white boot is like really great for those kinds of outfits, pairing with beige, like creams, that kind of thing. And then when you're wearing something with darker colors, like an all black outfit, it just really pops and looks pretty like modern, I think. Okay, we have one pair of boots. Let's get some loafers. I think that's just like a good basic to have. And we're gonna get them in black because we have white boots. And then we will need a pair of sneakers. Off white or just white. Let's just get some plain white sneakers. Uh, if you can only have one pair of sneakers, I would definitely say get a solid color, not a lot of pattern. And you can kind of pick the kind of color you'd like based on the kind of colors you wear. So for me, I pick a white sneaker because I like being able to wear all the different neutral colors. I think it looks really good with my white outfits. It looks great with like darker colors. If you wear a lot of warm colors, I think something like a beige would look really nice too. So it's really just up to the kind of things that you wear. Okay, lastly, I wanna find something that's like a heel or a sandal heel, something that you can wear as like fancy attire see one heel, but I don't love the look. Do you have any other kinds? Okay, I don't think so. So we're gonna have to go with our day heel then. If you're only getting one pair of heels, I would suggest that you get them in leather and not suede. I think leather tends to just look cleaner and the upkeep is a lot easier than a suede. And it's kind of your choice if you wanna get a black heel or if you want to get a nude heel. Again, I think it depends on the kinds of colors that you wear. If you wear darker colors, it makes sense to just get a black shoe, but I think since we have a white boot and we have white sneakers and then black loafers, I think I might go for, I think we'll go for a black heel. And that's also because we have a black slip dress. So I'm thinking, how can I wear that to a wedding and it look fine? I'd probably choose the black heel with that. Okay, last but not least, I think we need to get something to work as like a bag or a purse. I wear a tote bag every day for work. So I think a tote bag's a good idea for a starter wardrobe bag. But I also personally like to carry a just like small mid-size purse for my everyday bag. So I wouldn't really want just one giant bag. Okay, so they don't have a ton of options. 
So personally, I think I'd opt for this tote bag. It looks like it can carry a good amount, but it's also not like ginormous like their other tote bags. I like the tote color, so I think we'll get that one. But I also want a smaller bag, and the only one I really saw that would work for what I'm thinking is the sling. Gosh, that's ugly. Okay, moving on. We're gonna, I think there was one other thing that I could find. This cactus leather sling. Again, not my favorite, but it's the only small bag they have, and I really need a small bag to use for like every day. Um, a lot of times I'm just walking around, I'm only carrying like my wallet and phone, and I don't want a big bag for that. Also, if I'm going to like a wedding or a dressier event, I want a small bag, not a tote bag with me. So, okay, I think I'm gonna get this lime green color because I want it to represent a pop of color for a bag. Okay, so 21 items. Uh, I think that's a pretty good amount for a starter wardrobe. If you wanted to, you could probably take out some of these things. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of the skirt. We already have that beige dress, and I like that a lot more than the skirt, so yeah. I think this is a good amount of items. I'm gonna lay this out real quick just so you can kind of see a little bit better and we can kind of go through how these would make outfits that you can actually wear for multiple different occasions. Okay, so I have all of the items laid out here just so I can visually see them. Pretty much all neutrals, got some black, blues, creams. Um, so I'm gonna put together just a couple of outfits to just show you the versatility of this kind of setup. So I have four outfits here. Um, I think they can all serve kind of different functions. The top left one I think is a great casual outfit. I love a denim on denim look. The top right one I think is a great one that you can wear to the office, but also in a more casual way because you have some sneakers on. The bottom left one I think is a great one for kind of day to night. So going to work at an office and then leaving and going out for drinks. And then the last one, the bottom right one, I think is great for, you know, your fancier occasions, going to a wedding, going to a work party, um, just those more elevated occasions. So this, these are just four outfits. I didn't use all the items. Um, you can definitely make a lot more outfits out of this, but I just wanted to give you a quick example. All right, that's all I have for today. So let me know what you thought of the items that I chose for a starter wardrobe. And if you have any suggestions of another website or clothing retailer that would be really good to get these basics from. A starter wardrobe can really look different for every person. Um, these I just think are really versatile basics that could work for a lot of different people. So if some of these items don't work for you, great, they don't work for you. There might be something like a leather skirt that makes more sense for you or a different kind of shoe that I didn't include that really works for your lifestyle. This is really just an exercise, I think, to reevaluate the things that you have, what you need to complete like outfits. If you're missing one of these basic items like black pants and you've just really been struggling on how to make your outfits work, there you go. There's your missing piece. I think this helps a lot with finding those missing pieces and just getting back to basics a little bit if you're overwhelmed with your closet. I think most people have variations of these items in their closet already. So something that I think is kind of interesting to do sometimes when you're overwhelmed or just bored with your clothes is to just take everything out and just put your wardrobe basics, your starter wardrobe items in and just plan outfits with those things for like a couple weeks. I find that that usually simplifies my mornings so I can pick my outfits really easy, but then also once I start adding some other pieces in, I feel a little bit more refreshed, like almost like I got a new wardrobe or I went shopping. I just think a starter wardrobe can be really helpful for when you're in a clothing rut. Let me know some of your favorite stores to shop at. I'd love to do this again um, at a different retailer. Everlane has a lot of great basics, but they don't have every kind of style represented there. So let me know what kind of stores you like. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I make videos every week about fashion, styling, thrifting, all that good stuff. So if you're into that, stick around. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you next week with another video. Cheers!